Welcome to the OSRS Podcast, where we talk to RuneScape content creators about RuneScape content. I am Mitt Mad Cal, one of your hosts, followed by... What's going on, boys? Rex is always... And it's me, Ricecope. And today, we have a very, very special guest. One of my favorite content creators. This man's a god at Blender, and he's a god at a lot of things. Welcome, Randy. Glad to have you, buddy. Thank you, thank you. Glad to be here. And yes, I'm a YouTube content creator, uh, mechanic, bug boy, whatever you want to call me. <laughs> And I do some blending yeah. out there, so. Blending. Oddly blending. Oh, boy. Dude, yeah. I like that. That's kind of, <laughs> I like that a lot, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, before we get into the podcast today, we are going to set a like goal. And um, I've seen a lot of comments recently down in the comment section. You know, some of you guys have been a little bit mean. And you guys have been saying some nasty things about my long hair and my luscious locks, which is very cruel. So, what I'm going to say... Thing. Yeah, move the what? I was just adjusting. <laughs> I was just adjusting. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, are we, okay. are we don't live worry. right now? Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. Worry. That's fine. Mate, I was affecting the audio a bit. <laughs> you know, before this podcast, Rice Cup was just basically saying how me and Mint are such a detriment to this podcast. This man <laughs> can't even fucking record. Look at this no, man. I'm just editing the audio, bro. Okay, continue. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I'm going to set this. And if we manage to get a thousand, one thousand likes on this podcast, which I don't know if we've ever hit before, uh, I will cut my hair on the next podcast we do. Okay, Dave, on ball. camera. One thousand. Not bald. I'm not going bald, but I will, oh. take my, I will take my ponies out and snip it off. Okay. Damn. And you know what? And Get I'll on. add on to it. The best comment in the comment sections. He will send you his hair. <laughs> I'll pay for the shit. I will and, pay for the shipping. He will send it on, over. On top of that as well, I will cut my hair off and Mint Mad Cow will grow his hair for one year no, no, without no. getting a single hair. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going too far. We're going, we're going too far and Rice man. Cup will grow a fucking mighty mustache. <laughs> Yo, I'll grow a full man. I'm just kidding. No, no, no. no, no. Just your hair getting slipped. Just get, get. I'd like to see that, Rice. A thousand really likes. Like Let's do it. Mm-hmm. All right. Enough with the selling out and enough with Rice. What are you doing, Yo, buddy? My next um, week's... <laughs> So we got Randy right. here, very gracious. At, yo, Randy, could you just do the sh- setup thing real quick? Kind of show him your, your setup. So cool, man. Yeah, yeah. bend your cameras. It, it, it used to be cooler, but... Uh, mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, look at that, bro. Some renovations. So um, he used to be uh, head of security. He even got a mobile camera here. Let's mm-hmm. see. Damn, he's just like flipping through them real fast. Mm-hmm. And this is why he's one of my favorite content creators, man. No uh-huh. one has ever gone this far, and I don't think anyone ever will. Camera reception. Really. Yeah, that's insane. <laughs> my mind actually melts looking at that setup, he's a part-time, dude. Yeah, he's a part-time security guard. <laughs> I, I, had to get, I had to get rid of some, actually. So. Oh. I think so I, you cut had more? From, I cut it from 16 to, I think, now like 10 cameras. God. And oh my, my, main, like, my main camera, like the DSLR I had, it's broken. So... Oh. Yeah, all these are these just like really uh, cheap, shitty uh, forty dollar Chinese webcams. So, but they're they're actually not bad. Um, they look like great. This one, this one right here, yeah, it's not terrible. So, yeah, it's not bad. It's Ten out of ten, man. Mm-hmm. Do you do you turn those off at night? I I hope you don't leave them on all night long. All of those. Oh, no, I leave them on all night long. Oh man. Damn, well, I pray no, to God you don't get I mean, a virus or something, dude. I mean, uh, <laughs> well, if I turn off OBS, you know, it just cuts all the cameras. Uh, but. I guess if someone, you know, yeah, ratted my computer or something, they could turn these things on and uh, look at me. Funny they story. Every angle. Funny, weird story. I used to have to use cameras from one computer to another because I have two computers um, in this room here. And so I had to use this IP, uh, like over IP software, basically, to make some of the cameras work on one of the o- other OBSs before I found a different like alternative mean to that. And people were connecting to these IP cameras from IP addresses I didn't even recognize. So they could see my living room. And I would just hear this, like, thing on my computer go off, like a notification, Windows notification. Like, <laughs> ding this IP is connected to your webcam. I'm like, what the hell? Who is this? Like, you know, like, what's going on? And there were just random people connecting to my webcam. I don't know how they were doing it. But, uh, yeah, that's a little freaky. So, Bro, the real question, man. When the you NSA saw people also- connecting to your webcam... Were you excited or were you scared? Um, well, considering they're all angled only in this room, I wasn't too scared. 
because okay. I was walking around with a speedo on anyways, and there was a toilet and a, and a cage in my room, and I already looked I already looked pretty insane. I couldn't do anything much worse than that, you know. So it's a um, shame you're not wearing the speedo for the podcast, bro. Yeah, Rakesy I mean, probably could have matched you. So sad we're missing out on that. Maybe round two, round two, uh, Randy speedo. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but Maybe. um. Randy, you've you've been having a lot going on lately, man. A lot of uh, I would I would even say stressful. I don't actually understand how you could handle this. I'd be I'd be losing my mind actually. What's happening with uh, the whole story? But sadly, I can't explain it as well as you. So if you wouldn't mind, could you start from maybe uh, the start of this whole crazy incident with Jagex and the account chain bands? Yeah. So um, I actually didn't play RuneScape. Um, almost at all in 2020 after the level three fire cape and like maybe that slug menace video I did. Um, and then of course, I guess I did kind of the runescape stuff with Inferno at Buffalo Wild Wings. Um, I like took that. a break. Yeah. I took a break that. from like July to December. I did a little bit of runescape on this st weird stream I had going, but most of it was just, just chatting section stuff. Um, came back to runescape. Stop streaming in January, um, and like immediately, you know, uh, after coming back to RuneScape, I was like looking into some old bugs, and I found like a bunch of really unique, unique things um, with me and a couple other friends, like Mahler um, and Chessbra, who are in a lot of my videos. Chessbra. And um, so yeah, we we use these bugs for a lot of uh, cool different things, all just um, you know related to. Um, pretty much solo content like making unique peers iron men um i finally got the idea to make that iron man defense peer series um and i had a lot of goals basically i was going to be able to try and hit a two instead of a one <laughs> with a poison weapon that was the whole idea of this series um the first thing i wanted to do which was a little bit unrelated but it was to get into mortania on this account um and I wanted to get some defense bonus like Barrows, uh, Theater, Blood Gear, all of that stuff. Um, because that would help me out in the fight caves later on down the line. Um, so I made a video on that and put together, you know, like maybe about six months worth of research. Um, yeah. And yeah, finally found a route to do it. And we got some accounts through Priest and Peril with One Prayer. And um, yeah, that's the last thing that basically happened. Um, as you've seen on my videos, um, also, by the way, I, I do have some ticks. I have some panic problems here, so I'll be like rubbing my face by the way and talking really fast. Um, All good, so all good. yeah, anyways, okay. I'm trying to think as well. There's so yeah, much bro. to the story. There's so much to the Yo, story. It's like take your time, man. Plus, we all we all got crazy ticks. I mean, yeah. look at Rakesy's hair. That's got to be a tick. Just growing it that long. <laughs> yeah, I move man. around all Who the time. That? So yeah, I'm never safe. Look at that. Okay. So if I can interrupt real quick, Rendy. Mm -hmm. So to sort of cut forward a little bit, what is the fallout with this entire thing? Like, what is the standstill? What has happened between you and Jagex? Because I think it's fair to say there's been a bit of a fallout between the two, right? Mm -hmm. um that i feel like the fallout started in 2019 when i made that dupe video um on the world crashing and i left their content creator server um because you know they really weren't getting back to me or you know they really i don't know they just they were trying to nda everyone and i didn't really believe in that um system i don't believe that you should keep people in the dark and just act like something never happened and this was after the problem was initially fixed um you could not crash the worlds the same way and so you know, I was like, screw it, I'm going to make a video on it. I'm the one who notified them in the first place, so I can't be NDA'd. I'm just going to make a video. And they even confirmed that was fine. I was under the NDA because I was the one who brought forward them the information in the first place. It didn't come from the Discord to me. Um, so I left that server. Um, ever since then, I've never talked to a Jmod. Um, I, I felt uh, basically, based around their response to that video, that they... There were some discrepancies. I can't really remember what it was, but some of it wasn't true. Um, uh, it was kind of like a response to Reddit and that whole situation with the world crashes because Reddit was all up in flames and they always put out a response whenever that happens. Um, and, you know, some things happened with that. They said, you know, like, oh, we didn't, you know, need Rindy's help with this. Um, we already had it under control, but the duping had been going on for days. 
And in my opinion, if I didn't warn them of that, you know, it would have gone on for weeks. Um, and as you can see, a few months later in RS3, people in RS3 did the same thing. And I don't play RS3. I don't know anyone who plays RS3. Um, the the duping went on there for, I, I think they said two to three weeks without it being noticed and totally crashed the economy. Jesus. Um, just like irony, Insane. ironic responses like that, you know. Um, so, Nothing really personal with the response in that, but I left the server and I think they were kind of mad about that and they were mad they were mad I made the video when they wanted to keep it under wraps. Um and from then the whole falling out with Jagex started. Um I tried asking for another orb of Oculus because I only had like a level twenty five with one that couldn't go to like regions to take footage of certain areas like Elfland and stuff like that. Um, they didn't get back to me for over eight months to try and get a new orb of Oculus. I actually never got one. I had to wow. wait till uh, it was released publicly with Diango recently um, to get another one. I had to use detached camera for a lot of my own like footage. Um, just weird little things like that. Um, never really had a good uh, relationship with Jagex though. And then this whole thing just made it like probably a hundred times worse, I would say. So. Um, that's how that all went down um uh and now we're well, back to i've i've always time. reported i've always reported bugs like in game as well yeah not not quite yet um mm -hmm. i've always reported bugs in game um and they never get fixed. I don't know why. Who reads bug reports? I mean, it's Jagex. Are, yeah. you, are you surprised? <laughs> but then, you know, like, I've had people like Ash in the past say, oh, you know, like, well, it's weird that he makes videos on this because he we don't ever get the bug reports for this stuff. And I'm like, thinking to myself, I do send bug reports, but they never get fixed. Nothing ever seems to, like, change. So, um, Mate, yeah. I'll tell you something. I tried to report a bug earlier at Hard Mode Nightmare. And I literally, I was so annoyed because I died because the fucking parasite wouldn't get one shot. Ree, you probably know what I'm talking about. Yeah. And um, I went to report the bug and it was like, your third party client isn't supported. You need to log into the main game to be able to report this. I was just like, who, like, really? what? Yeah, that's, that's what it said. Well, that was the message. I couldn't even type anything in the box. Really? It just said I, that. I, I, was, I reported something yesterday, but... <clears throat> no. They well, added... Yeah, Unless I did it completely wrong, but yeah, I, I clicked report a bug and there was no option to type in the in, inside of the box and it just said uh, this isn't supported on Runelight or a third party client. Really? You need to log into the like the actual main uh, client that they have. Yeah, oh. I'm going to double check it real I quick because it did. Continue and then you got to click on it. Because that's what one I sec. did. Let me have yeah. a look. I did, cl yeah. I did click continue. Oh, wh why are you looking at that? I just got to say, one, if you don't know what NDA is, it's a non-disclosure agreement. They kind of are like higher up when crazy things happen. Lawyers do that. And uh, just to say, Randy, you're not the only one who doesn't get replied to in that content creator discord. I'm actually having problems right now, and I haven't got a reply in like three days. You know, I'm like, all right, back to Roblox. I'm, I'm yeah. done with this, man. And, and that's <laughs> the reason why I spammed the general chat saying, like, these guys are crashing worlds now because... In my past experiences, I wouldn't get replies for like weeks in like a personal message with them on that in that server. They have like you know yeah. the channels where you can DM them, and mm -hmm. so that's why I started just spamming the server because I was like, "There's people literally I know right now who are trying to crash this world, and they're duping GP." And um, that's why every they saw everyone else saw that who was a content yeah. creator, and then that's why they put the NDA out and said, "No other content creator tell anyone about this." Um, and then even Reddit mods were censoring the word dupe out of Reddit threads because there were rumors going around because before they said NDA, people who were streaming, they were saying something about a, a server crashing and duping, you know. Um, so there was rumors being spread around and even the Reddit mods kind of filtered those out. So um, I, I want to ask Randy, didn't want how, to at all. how easy would it have been to not do the right thing, right? and not report it because you said you knew some of these guys and actually joined them and make money. Like how easy would that have I, been? I talked to these guys for months. Um, you know, I could have just asked them to probably be on it, in on it and they would have been like, okay. Um, and you would have made money, right? Like, right. And if that didn't work, you know, I could have said, I have a direct contact with Jagex. If you don't, you know, share some of this money with me with what you're doing, I'll go and report it right now. Um, but I didn't do that, you know, obviously. Yeah. And so I could have like, yeah, technically blackmailed the person, even if we weren't on a friendly basis. So, um, it's just kind of ironic again, how, um, they 
come back to this accusation of me duping and crashing servers when in the past I've had the opportunity to do that as well and I've never done that. Um, in fact, I've done the complete opposite. Yeah, so. you warned them. You literally warned right. them. And then yeah. you made a video, right? Which honestly, I think non-disclosure agreement is pretty scummy. Like if something like this happens and you find it, you should have the complete right to make the video on it. I what mean, was yeah. this? What was That's the NDA? I, what was it exactly, Randy? And was it was um, it for everyone in the content creator everyone Discord? Everyone in the cause... content creator Discord, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I don't um, even check in there, so I didn't it was see anything. 2019, uh, late 2019. Ah. Yeah, um, I see. You could probably control F it in there if you're still in there, but um. Mm. So what was it saying? Just like not to be able to talk about yeah, stuff. Yeah, don't that talk about there. anything to do with the dupe or the world crash, basically. What well, was it specifically that, or was um, it just conversations? It was in the there? same day as that happening, and they posted and linked a Reddit thread to someone saying something about the crash, and they're saying we need to NDA this chat. Um, so this so posts like these on Reddit don't come up. Instantly trying to save their own ass is what it looked yeah. like, right? That's crazy. And speaking of bugs that are n aren't never fixed, uh, so I was playing on the Steam client. Just quickly go over this. There's doors you can open, and then there's like another door, right? It's like an animation glitch, right? right. And that's been in the game since the Steam client came out. There's double HP bars, <laughs> right? So, so these bugs will never get fixed. in in two and a half months, so mm -hmm. yeah. Um, Dude, if I can add. Cinematics. If I can add to that real quick, so I've just checked the bug report on Runelight, and word for word, this is what it says. You gotta click it says, on it. continue. Yeah, I, I know, but I'm gonna read what it actually says, because mm -hmm. I think if you report anything on Runelight, which, let's be fair, like, probably 90% of the player base use, it says, please check the official World Score Inscape client, also known as the Vanilla client, before reporting issues, as Jagex cannot help with bugs that exist only in third-party clients. Please really? provide as much detail about uh, what you were doing before an issue occurred. Not so I don't know. I mean, that it kind of. Me I don't. I don't remember that. Yeah, it, it might be like as of today. I don't think I've ever seen it either. But I, I haven't played like I said in two and a half months. But yeah, they out. They also added new QA testers apparently that are specifically supposed to be checking the reports. Now I saw that on Twitter. Um, there was a new guy who's like saying, "I'll be checking all the bug reports, so send them in." You know. Um, I'm glad they're doing that, but it's a yeah, little late. Yeah, finally, yeah. Yeah, it's finally. been a little, like, uh, finally they make their own client. Finally all this stuff's happening. Know, should yeah. we be happy or should we be disappointed it took this long, right? It's hard to say yeah. as a RuneScape fan. Mm -hmm. I'm a little both. I'm a little so, both. So, Rendy, would it be fair? Because I obviously, I have watched quite a lot of your videos, but I haven't watched the most recent one because I was waiting to talk to you about on this. By the sounds of it, and from what I've seen myself, the bugs that you have typically used and abused in the past have been what I would say are harmless bugs. So such as doing Priest and Peril, not getting prayer XP. So is it yeah. fair to assume that you haven't done any, you know, anything shady, anything on the side of duping or anything to basically financially benefit yourself or potentially uh, cripple the game? Um. You know, I used to be into real world trading in like 2017. I sold Inferno capes for a few years, but even back then, no, I didn't use glitching or um, any kind of bug abuse back then for monetary gain. Now, I know a lot of people who have, um, but personally, no, I've never um, used any bug in a harmful manner that would harm others in the game, you know, or that would be used for real world trading. Okay. Um, so you have a past, but not... Yeah, I have bugs. a past with selling capes uh, for money, yeah. which in, in my eyes, um, this is a very controversial opinion, but I think that should be allowed because it's providing a valuable service for money, which is something people in the real world do, you know, every day. Um, but like like that, I haven't even done that in three years. I quit that before I went into content creation full time. Um and then that's why people are now associating like, oh, well, because he sold capes in the past, that must mean he's crashing entire servers <laughs> and duping money and selling gold. Whereas where those two things are completely different, um, you know, and that was a long time ago. Yeah. Even if that, also, yeah. just to kind of like level the playing field, I remember like Bodhi used to be like, yeah, I used to sell fire capes, you know, like back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah there's a lot of to... content creators with shady yeah. pass, you know, like Can we frames. confirm that? Yeah, yeah. No, I remember he said it, it on stream. It, it is confirmed. So okay. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure because I've never heard yeah. of that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. But it's like a joke. So, it's more of a joke now, you know. <laughs> for for the viewers watching right now and um, that don't really understand this this situation, what's happened. So I think the most interesting thing here 
and I would love to understand this and really get to the bottom of it. And I think there's probably a few suggestions which could be made to get to the bottom of this. Um, is that typically whenever in the past somebody's broken the rules or done anything along those lines, whether it be bought in on an account, rural world trading and so forth, whenever somebody or an individual comes forward and says, hey, Jagex, you've unfairly banned my account. Uh, and usually this happens on Reddit or Twitter. Jagex are very quick to either unban the individual or basically just come back with the Bible solid smack, evidence yeah. and just be like, no, you yeah, did. Evidence. So right. this is the really interesting thing about the situation is that's more or less happened with you, but you're adamant that you didn't you didn't do anything well, which is harmful to the game. There's no is that evidence. Correct? correct. They didn't yeah. they didn't really come forward no evidence. with evidence. They just made a blog. And they just made a blog. Um a lot of it's totally, you know, misconstrued as well. They say like my friend Mahler had uh forty eight accounts banned in the last year for and in, things involving duping and world crashing over the last year. He had all of those accounts banned. He didn't have a singular bug abuse ban until right after the video. They chain banned him on every account last logged in on his IP, which was about 48 accounts. Um, he lost accounts that hadn't even logged in in three years. Um, he lost accounts still on Tutorial Island. So <laughs> They chain they, banned him. They put in the number of 48 in the last year. Yeah. They chain banned him, but they said that uh, that guy was doing stuff all year and banned way before, but then right. they chain banned him now. That's ridiculous. Yeah. That What would they, got, what they call that? All these, um you know, logs of dates of these account bans, and he doesn't have any bug abuse ban prior to, I think, July 7th. Um, so, and the video was out July 1st. The okay, only two so accounts I got banned on were the two main ones in the video, Uncle Turd and Defense Saga, and those were July 2nd, the day after the video, mm -hmm. where they say I got banned on 14 accounts. Some of those accounts were probably uh, macro bans through using uh, third-party software I was using to test things on throughout the last year. Uh, but none of them were bug abuse bans, I don't believe. Actually, one of them was a bug abuse ban. It was for smuggling items. Um, okay, so again, let, let, let's uh, clarify for the people that haven't seen, you know, or know the situation. So what what exactly were the bugs that you guys did? And then we can mm -hmm. kind of talk about the legitimacy of, like, how ban-worthy is it, you know? In the last year, the bugs I've done are we've negated um, the Priest and Peril XP, like you've seen in the video. Um, sorry, I'm having ticks again. Uh, it's all good, buddy. It's okay, man. Uh, then, you know, the other bugs we've done, we've smuggled Inferno capes out on level threes. Um, but you know, what are we going to use an Inferno cape on a level three for? I could have smuggled out a God Sword on a level three from <laughs> LMS and spec people out in PvP. Are you fucking then, kidding me? You know how yeah, to do that? No, I'm serious. Yeah, we could we we could have done that. Um, we could have gone <laughs> to PvP tempting. and and killed hardcore Iron Man, you know, that stuff like that. Uh, I'm but no, all we, all we did was sit around flex at the DE with a level three Inferno Cape. Um, <laughs> the other thing we've done, we have, they got one thing right in the blog post. We have duplicated quest for reward XP. Um, that's going to be seen in the next video. But I did it to like the as little amount as I could, because it was some it was required for another bug I was trying to do. Um, so I got 80 wood cutting off this. Um, and that's the only thing I could see as possibly getting my account banned, which I, I saw myself getting banned. That wasn't the question, you know. Um, I could see myself getting banned in the future. I couldn't see my friend Mahler getting banned on 48 accounts overnight and after the video was posted kind of as a petty ban. And I couldn't see them foresee them posting on their homepage saying we duped and crashed servers and tried to real world trade this for over a year. Um, that's what is totally misleading and false, and that's what I'm upset about. I'm not upset about getting banned. I expected to get banned. I actually have backup uh, plans in place um, in case I was to get banned. I have other accounts with Priest and Peril done as defense peers that still exist to this day, actually, um, that never got banned. Um, so the, the, the question is if I'll, if I'll continue on with the backup plans for the series or not, which I probably won't at this point because it... It makes me extremely angry um, just to even, like, play the game lately. Um, to even, like, edit the next video. I haven't been able to start editing. It's been 15 days um, because every time I think about it, I think about how I've played this game for 16 years. Um, I've even promoted this game. And then they go on their website and say, accuse me of all these, like, really malicious things that I've never done. And um, as well as, you know, ban yeah. all, of, all of my best friends' accounts. 
So, um, mm-hmm. that's, that's ridiculous. That's the yeah. situation so, I'm in right now. Yeah, they they oh, gaslit okay. you pretty much. They 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 are making you the enemy, and I feel like, um, and you probably already know this, but as soon as you released a world dupe video when they didn't want you to, it almost it almost felt like they put a target on your head, and they wanted some sort of reason to get you right. That's that's kind of what it feels like to me. It's like ever since that happened, they were they were like, all right, we got to keep an eye on him. We the gotta first see what conversation he's doing. I ever had with the J mod was Mod Sweeney. It was in the content creation Discord. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, he, he said you need to take down your Inferno Capesling website and um, your your thread if we ever want to promote you in the future. Like give you a golden gnome because I was nominated for a golden gnome that year. Um, and I said, you know, it's been taken down for eight months and the thread's been locked for a year. And he's like, oh, well, okay, that checks out here. Thanks for letting us know. I was like. Okay, like, I'm glad you did your detective work, you know. It's just, like, they've always had some sort of disdain for me, I think, because I had a shady past as well. Um, and that, 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 of course, didn't help. That was my fault. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, I wasn't I wasn't doing what they accused me of um, in this recent post. Aside from mm-hmm. Quest XP duplication, mm-hmm. but at a very low level i could have yeah that's not world that. duping i could have i could have uh you know taken that to a much higher degree as well i could have gotten an all-time record on crystal math labs or whatever the new site is people use for that um for example i found a way to get 100 mil thieving in six hours uh <laughs> like stuff like that but i didn't do it so um that's crazy yeah all right so yeah, i have insane. another question then is that how would you have liked jags to approach you with these kind of situations you know like instead of just oh banning you without saying anything and then running a post would you have preferred if they just dm'd you on discord or something and like can write a post but just you know say the right things that you know for sure are the reasons for why i'm banned you know but say we- it's because say it's because he nulled the quest xp it's because he got you know he duplicated xp rewards for 80 wood cutting on this account maybe um mm-hmm. he smuggled something out of lms um and that would be fine and, and let's if, say they like kind of dm'd you and they're like oh yo you shouldn't do this type of thing would you have follow through right going forward um, or something like that um depends what they were uh saying as like this type of thing exactly mm-hmm. um if it didn't harm anyone i probably would still follow through with it mm-hmm mm-hmm you're like Batman. You got like a vigilante <laughs> code. I like that. Uh, so, Rendy, have you had a conversation with Jagex since all of this? A private nope. conversation, which isn't over Twitter or Reddit or anything like no, that. They don't. They don't respond to me privately. Like I said, they wouldn't even respond to me for an orb of Oculus for eight months, and I'd okay, DM well, different game mods. So. Is, is that something that you would be willing to do? Would you be willing to get yes. into a call with the J mods? And because to me, I very much yeah. I, I don't know if you watched our last podcast, but I very much agree with what Mod Matt K said, and I think they should have spoken to you beforehand because this is like this could have been nipped in the buds. Like this didn't have to become such a you know stretched out thing. I, yeah. I think, I mean, if you're willing to. I, I don't see a reason why they wouldn't get into a call with you, and it it seems like you know you're taking the um, I don't you know you're doing the mature thing by saying you'd like to chat this out because it's it's one of those things I completely understand why you are so upset about this because it's not a case of the accounts were banned you were willing for that to happen you were prepared right, right? it's the fact that it seems as if there have been things that have been told that are untrue and it's. Not that your name has been mentioned in the post, but it's, it's clearly clear. about you. Yes. Even even mm-hmm. Ash has linked it. Yeah, with mm-hmm. in response to my name. So, uh, mm-hmm. yeah. And my I, I actually blocked me before he responded to any of those, uh, mm-hmm. which is really weird. No other J mod blocked me. Just Mod Ash. Um, mm-hmm. So I don't know why that is. Maybe he's getting misinformation. Maybe their whole source of information is wrong. Maybe they're just straight up lying maybe they're telling being told from the head of their department to say certain things i don't know um i, you, I could make assumptions for days you know um, so yeah one, one second b- before we go down that sort of like that that mm-hmm. little the avenue radical. there mm-hmm. so i i know it's probably really difficult for you to kind of step outside of this situation and see it as a third party because you're so emotionally invested but like are you absolutely 
certain there's nothing that maybe like one of your friends did that you didn't know about that you've been linked into or are you absolutely certain that they did nothing which you're being accused of or is that a possibility um, Mahler I know did not do anything um he's the one who got chain banned um that guy's lived with me two separate occasions I talked to him for 14 hours a day while we were recording this co-series together um um i know chess bra didn't do anything i don't he's gonna be mad at, i'm not even gonna say this but he wouldn't have had the capabilities of doing any of this <laughs> um how uh, many do there is, there is one person in particular i could say maybe somehow i got associated with and um i was on their account for one second in this video before we had a falling out in like february um and i was on his account testing things in the very small portion of this video maybe like 30 seconds um and he actually left um our discord server and we kind of removed him he was doing malicious things with these bugs and he's the reason i kind of reported that whole thing to uh mod tyron in the first place saying there's people using these bugs for malicious things like the duel arena stuff like that um and i've removed him you know from any sort of contact with me for months now though but maybe they took that account I was on for 30 seconds and somehow linked it back to all of his. But even I couldn't see him having the um, competency of crashing worlds and duplicating, you know, GP. Although I know he was involved in um, things involving the Duel Arena and scamming people at the Duel Arena. Um, so which you is why logged, we removed him. You logged on to that guy's account. So I'm one of his probably... One of his throwaway accounts that is like some level 50 um it had a certain quest done that i needed to test something in the quest on um and i had logged into it in february for maybe a day not even um Damn. so i'm thinking there could somehow be some weird mix up with that um but even that doesn't make sense because the whole post is just weird um they basically say we've been crashing worlds through 2020 through 2021 they don't give any specific dates they don't say any specific times they don't say any specific accounts that were associated with crashing they didn't say right. this account traded this count this much you know nothing because if they said that there would be no information to say that because there's we didn't trade on any accounts any kind of money to try and do there's no trade logs to prove otherwise um uh, randy if i can quickly the guy that you're yeah. talking about whose account you logged into was he involved with the crashing of the worlds and duping? Uh, no. He like I said, there was no. I don't. We don't know who was involved with crashing worlds and duping. That, that happened in December of 2020. I wasn't even playing RuneScape in December of 2020. Um, that's there was a news post on world crashes in December of 2020. December, around the middle of December, something like that. Um, and that's whenever they fixed. Um the level three fire cape method and all that other stuff that was involved with interfaces um and that was the last time they publicly said anything about worlds being crashed um but like i said no i don't even think he was playing around that time um and i don't think he wouldn't have had the capability to crash worlds around that time um so no i don't i don't think he's ever even crashed a world or even I'm sure he's thought about it, considering he's had other malicious intent and bugs being performed. Um, but I don't think he's ever had the opportunity <clears throat> to crash a world. Is this really so, feels like a big mishap on Jagex's part? Like if Mod Matt K was still working there, I feel like this wouldn't have happened, right? Because in the podcast, he says you reach out to the kind of creator, go, "Hey, what, what's going on?" Right? Just ask him. Right. Just the common decency. Um, because it feels like they definitely gas gaslit you. And why I say it's not smart on Jagex's part is that a lot of companies, not just Jagex, not gaming companies, but they actually invite over people who are very uh, influential and knowledgeable in hacking and uh, exploits and bugs, right? And they go, hey, come break our game. If you can break our game or a server or a car, I think Tesla's done it, then we're going to pay you a bounty. Yeah, but right. so why so. why would they make you an enemy even if they think you've done this? It, it doesn't even make sense that's on a what, business that's, standpoint. That's the point that a lot of people are raising. Why would we ban a content creator um, and say all these things about him if it wasn't true? That's like the point a lot of people are making. Um, 
And why I think it is is because first of all, they had twenty five thousand angry redditors mobbing up on them, saying, "Why did you listen to those people?" Um, really yeah, do. and then and then they also see that I poke holes in the game all the time, and they they see that people like me doing that, and they don't want to encourage that behavior, and I can totally understand that. <laughs> um, but you know, just say the reason I was banned for. Don't you know? I, I mean. I don't. I feel like they had to kind of say that I, I was doing something really malicious to get the angry Reddit mob off their backs in in the situation. Um, possibly, I don't know, or maybe it was just a huge misconception. I really don't know. It, so, it doesn't make sense to me completely either. The thing that doesn't add up to me. Okay, so I, I I've just read this and I'll read this out loud now. So if anyone hasn't read this, it basically says. We took action against, and this is on the RuneScape website, this was a blog. We've taken action against the content creator's RuneScape accounts. The accounts belong to a content creator were used malicious, sorry, used for malicious activity, including but not limited to crashing of game worlds for the purpose of item and wealth duplication to be sold for the real world monies, and exploiting an in invisibility slash invincibility bug in PvP combat scenarios. So, the thing that doesn't add up to me, okay, is why haven't they tried to have a conversation with you? Because I see it like this, okay? Regardless of whether you have done that or you haven't done that, yeah, it's obviously better for Jagex to have a conversation with you and be like, you know, have a sit-down conversation in private that doesn't make it into a YouTube video or a tweet, and you guys hash this out, you get to the bottom of it, because it's like, whether you did that or didn't do that, What's going to stop you doing that now? It's like, if you wanted to, with like, you know, obviously what's happened, if this is untrue and they've like gaslighted you, as they say, it's like, I look at that as a third party viewer and I'm like, man, that guy might just turn around and just say, fuck it, let's ruin the economy. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, right? honestly, that's and what like, I was, I was bringing that up. Like any company that has a brain would befriend a hacker even if it's true or not true. And honestly, your knowledge, they should be crawling and begging yeah, like, you to come and fix some of the stuff. Cause not, I'm not saying you did any of this, but you, you probably understand how it works. You could probably help them figure this out. You're reporting bugs all the time. You reported the world glitch dupe in the first place. So why aren't they begging you to come and help them solve this? It just doesn't seem like a smart just, business practice at all. Like, Sounds listen, like a private And instead of contacting me, uh, mod ash who i've never interacted with just blocks me and then you know um, so weird so yeah, i can't so even contact that person and the other people you know just don't respond mauler put out that long twit longer about how we'd like to have, sit down and have a discussion with you about this and maybe hash out any misconceptions and talk to you about all of this by this certain date and time he wasn't threatening them like people thought he was just giving them a reasonable time to respond to us by and come in a private call with us and talk to us um and uh, he said something about GDP in the original post, which is uh, the Data Protection Act for the UK, because um, he was saying we're going to pull out the GDP on what's been going on. But we found out that's useless anyway, so he retracted that statement and made it a whole other statement. Basically says everything the same, but no GDP is mentioned in it. Um, but yeah, it was basically just us inviting them to privately sit down and talk with us, um, which never happened as well. They've never communicated with us, um, so... They should know. be flying you over, bro. They really should. They should be flying you over. Uh, they should be paying you money to fix some of the bugs that aren't even fixes. They, I think the invincibility thing's still going or the invisibility thing's still going on. Um, no, Rakes, you, you don't understand. Hackers <laughs> get paid a ton of money. Yeah. Like, no, I'm talking a ton of money to Wait, fix money. these bugs. Ra I know. I'm seriously I know. looking at Rendy and I'm thinking this man's more knowledgeable than most of JMods working on their team. It's like, ridiculous. The, the, honest, the honest truth, and obviously we have different takes on this, man is I personally don't care about any of that. I care about like getting to the bottom of this and actually sorting it out with Rendy and Jagex because it would be fucking shit if Rendy ends up stopping making content and has, you know, a really yeah. bad relationship with Jagex. I think that's the most important thing here. And to be completely honest, like looking at the post and what they've written, it's like whether it's true or not true, it's incredibly naive to think that this post would stop in some way, if it were to be true, Rendy continuing to do it. So even if that were to be true, this isn't going to help that. It's probably going to make it worse. And I'm just baffled at why they hadn't contacted Rendy beforehand 
to properly talk about this. And I, I don't have a problem with Jagex. They've always treated me really well. But, like, this just seems... It just seems naive. I don't understand, like, who wrote this or why they would write it like this. No, I agree. Um, I, don't, I, I don't get it. They I had really, to update really it, don't. too, with questions and answers after it was written the first time. Um, See? Because people were like, why are you just now banning them? If uh, they've been doing this for a year and crashing worlds, like, the day after they upload the video... Uh, which is valid questions, and then they're like, yeah, "Oh, we've been banning them this whole time," which for Crashing Worlds was just totally not true. And then it's so, like, if we can get a timeline real quick, Rendy, for yeah. what was the what was the pulling of the trigger that set them off to ban you this time and with all of this, and what's the timeline for? Because I know that the duping of the uh, the cash in Crashing Worlds was quite a while back. So, what is the timeline for this? How did it start? And what was the thing that made them actually post this and ban the accounts? Um, so we made the video. I made a post about how um, Uncle Turd, which was, was one of the main accounts in my video, got banned. And all that I kind of did was dismantle bird snares. Um, and then a few days roll around. My other account got banned too. I didn't want to leak that information yet though, because um, which was the Hardcore Iron Man, the main account in the series, because I was going to save that for the next episode, the ending of it. Um, but I just got so fed up. I told eventually everyone that too. Um, but then a few days later, that's when all of Mahler's accounts get banned. Um, and, um, so that's when I made a post on my community page on YouTube and I was like, this is what happens, you know, when I tip off Jagex five paragraphs of information and we tell them how to do all these things and we use it non-maliciously when other people could use it maliciously. Yes, we put out on content on it, but we don't you know, put out active working bugs that people can use in bad ways. Um, and we've been helping them. We're basically free QA testers. And, you know, this is what happens whenever you report all these bugs. You get banned on 46 accounts. Um, and not until after a video is posted on it. And I was, like, really pissed off at this point because my friend Cam, he's been, he's been obsessed with RuneScape, not even just, like, bug abusing. He hardly even bug abuses. He's kind of, like, new to it as well. He has accounts, like... With 200 mil strength XP and one attack, that got banned. Um, it, yeah, he the accounts have never touched a bug in their life, and that's why I was so mad. And I didn't expect that to go on Reddit. It went on Reddit. It got 25,000 upvotes and like 100 awards. And then they post that reply th thread on Reddit and on their homepage to the whole um, you know Reddit drama, the Reddit mob. And that's probably why they typed it up so fast and. Um, why the whole thing is just so poorly written i don't know yeah Demetrius. it seems it seems Demetrius. rushed yeah like i just don't the, understand their logic behind how this would help another point that makes no sense to me is they say they chain banned us for duping and crashing and all this other malicious stuff um but the only accounts of mine that got banned were the two in the video recently and even my level three fire kit account you can still look it up it still exists um so if they chain banned us for all this malicious activity, then why am I not actually chain banned? Why is it only accounts in the video of mine that were banned? You know, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of white lies in that post. It's it was a lot definitely of holes. definitely more of a damage control thing. They're like, oh shit, all right, we gotta stamp the stamp this out before other media picks up on it and start writing articles or whatever. You know, right. that's probably what they they were freaking out over. But that's wasn't the best way to go about it because that should have been, you know handled better through proper communication instead of just like dishing out all these random punishments and making up half true things and then exactly. going about it that way you know like that's just take, not the way to go taking advice off reddit is never the right way to go especially when you can bot upvote it right i'd only imagine the kind of information they read off reddit that's not even like really upvoted but actually bought it no take it with <laughs> yeah. a grain of salt you know like there's exactly. there's, a there's a lot of elements that probably is partially true but like but that's it you know you, you can't just be like okay because like the thing i realized with you know social media is that it's really easy to get people mad about something and then have them all go against you because a lot of these people they don't think about it they just see what they wrote and they'll agree that's it they don't think about like are you sure you know they don't a lot of people don't it's really unfortunate so by the way reddit army i love your memes i just don't like your posts <laughs> please don't hate me i i do like your memes though they are solid yeah, it's, it's i always go over there and i get, mob, get a giggle mob mentality is very dangerous you know for sure mm -hmm. I, I replied I to that uh reddit thread and post as well and you know i was like 
Well, one, as you can see in the video, I never used invincibility maliciously. I, I even I even included an Imgur link to um it's the top rated post or response on this Reddit post. I included an Imgur link to the entire conversation I had with Mod Tyron that he never responded to, of course. Um, of me sending him like a long list of like how this could be used maliciously and and how even there could be invincibility being used and how not to do it because it could really hurt the game. And so I use that as a point to prove that I didn't use even invincibility maliciously. Um, I talk about how Mauler's accounts all got banned after the video. I talk, I, I put all these points in a response to that Reddit post. Um, and that was, and I was quick to reply this time because the last time this happened with the world dupe thing in 2019, I didn't reply. I just sat there and I was silent. And then, you know, Reddit goes even more crazy. They're like conspiracy theories. Like, Rindy was in on the dupe and he was trying to do it because this and that. And and the, the J-Mod said that they had it under control. So Rindy's just trying to make himself look like a superhero. And he's just trying to get his ego up. And it's just like all this crap just being, you know, <laughs> thrown around. And so I was like, I was like, fuck it. This time I'm going to reply. And... And I was so mad at the time when I read that thing. I'm like, my heart's like pounding. My I feel like my blood pressure rising through my head. So I just start pulling out as like much evidence as I possibly can, like the you know the screenshot of me sending to Mod Tyron, I all that, and it got like a thousand upvotes, higher than the original post got. The post was downvoted like 500 times. So originally the Reddit mob mentality was on my side, kind of thing. And then a few hours later, Mod Ash, you know, blocks me and starts replying to people and saying that I, why would we hire people who, uh, you know, try and crash worlds for uh, their own, um, their own, I can't even think of the personal word, their gain. own benefit, yeah, own yeah. personal gain, and all that. And then the Reddit's like, oh my god, Mod Ash said something. Let's go over now and simp to Mod Ash's side. Yeah. And now our indie's in the fall. Oh. And then. After those Mod Ash replies, the the original post I think went from like negative like six hundred downvotes to up to like four hundred over the course of the next few days, like positive. So Jeez, it's like God dang. they're so bipolar, dude. They like flip sides, and it's just yeah. like so chaotic. It's I, crazy. I, I'm a pretty big fan of Mod Ash, but it it's a weird argument to have saying why would they hire people when they have hired people who have done a lot worse yeah, than like that Jack Mob, this the dude made Jack Mob, Bob, yeah Ma, like bots and stuff it's crazy <laughs> mod jed mod reach i mean there's not just one scenario where they've hired someone who has not done positive for the game so that is just a horrible argument in general but sadly no one really thought about that i, I like yeah. i like mod ash too like which mod is ash. why i was confused about the whole thing and like you know, like most people think he's like the most respectable J mod, and I would agree, honestly. Even now, I just feel like he's either being fed some kind of misinformation or he's got to really represent what his entire company put on the post, and that's why he doesn't really say much other than link the post in most of those replies, you know? Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like Mod Ash, he. I, and I can respect it. Like, you got to, you know, yeah. get, you're not going to go and say something against your entire company and. Yeah, he's kind of like a foundational pillar. Like, I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> this mm -hmm. man holds up the game. <laughs> Yeah. Like, for some reason. I've never so, seen him use that kind of power in that way, too. So it's, like, very surprising. Yeah. Very surprising. Yeah. The, 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 this, is, this is the thing, though, is that whenever Jagex have done that, and they're effectively nipping it in the bud where they're just like, it's done. Someone comes forward and they said that they've bought it or whatever, or they haven't bought it, and then they're like, no, you did. Uh, that's the end of it there's never any uproar after it's just like okay well mod ash said it he did so he did and for the most part i'd say that probably stands up but it's very difficult because i don't understand firstly why rendy would necessarily do it maybe he would but i just he doesn't have it. to you know i just think I, if I, you I, look at it and you look I at the dates it. and you mm. look at all the weird how the post is written yeah. i think that's where a lot of the confusion came in yeah and do you Rightfully think that so. they here here's the thing like for them to have done this they must have some kind of evidence like there has yeah. to have been something See, they've seen tom i gotta disagree with you well, buddy i know you have a lot of ties with, with j mods and stuff and i damn it. personally I think don't so i might have a 
I, I, it's it's definitely damage well, they, control, yeah, man. Definitely. They've done it for the world duping, right? When Randy brought it up, and they're doing it now, right? And I, I, it's not bad to have polar opposite opinions, of course. But well, they did know something. They knew that I had duped quest reward XP. So, and that was listed, but that was like the only thing I saw listed in that entire post that was correct. Yeah. So it's weird. It's like they they escalated it to to just mm -hmm. add more and more on top of it to make me sound. I guess worse and worse, and put down the Reddit mob mentality or something. I don't know. That's yeah, that's what guess. it. That's For what sure. it sounds like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hundred percent. Like, like half damage control. Yeah. Mm -hmm. From from my point of view, because like I share you know Mint's side of it, the conspiracy side of it, and like the Rixies, like you know, oh they helped me a lot. They couldn't have. They couldn't possibly fuck up. And from from all of this, and also Randy's testament testimony, it does sound like because things kind of blew out of proportion on Reddit really really fast. They just had to write what, what the fuck sounded convincing for them to just damage control it and do what they had to do. So, and I think that was probably not the best choice. I, I think had they given you an extra day to actually just talk to you about it, and then like, all right, so we're gonna have to just ban you for these things or whatever, and you'll be like, right. okay, you know, and then yeah. may, maybe write something on it, but like obviously with actual correct information instead, and it would have been much easier overall. But but they decided to rush it a day too early, you know, rather than just talk to you. Which is, yeah. I think that's going to be a huge fallout going forward, you know, which we see now. <laughs> so, yeah, it's it's just, it was it definitely feels like damage control. They had some dirt on you, and they kind of just extrapolated from that. And, yeah, that was that was kind of how, how it looks like to me, you know. Um, they were just put in a really bad spot with the with the Reddit, you know. Yeah. So. It, it almost feels like most of the problems that are, are accumulating around you are Reddit. Right, it's yeah. like the backbone. A lot of these problems are Reddit. It's just sorry, Reddit. Reddit, Reddit, Reddit. Reddit. One day Reddit loves me. The next day Reddit hates me. That's my yeah. that's yeah. my story. Mm -hmm. Every every time, that's always what happens. So. Yeah, it, it's it's crazy how powerful like the mob like once it turns on you, you know, and like once it turns on the company, it makes everybody so desperate, you know, to make some drastic moves that. That's most likely regrettable, you know. That's pretty case. much what social medias were created for to get people to fight. Because when you fight, there's more um, interactions, and then it mm -hmm. just blows everything up. And it's good for social media, bad for human personality, sadly. Uh, and I definitely see that on Reddit a yeah, lot. Yeah, and and also like it's just PSA. Like you know, when you when you guys like mob up, you know, and attack somebody, do realize it's it's another person, right? You don't want like. A thousand, two thousand, whatever thousand people, you know, just jabbing at you on things that you barely even know about. You know, if you never even have a conversation right. with this person, why would you jab at them? And there will be people that will no. post like, you know, ten paragraph conspiracies of this is exactly what happened. This, this, this. Yeah. But you're right. They don't know anything. Like at the end of the day, only I know what happened, um, and maybe hopefully Jagex knows what happened. I don't know if they have wrong information. I don't even know if they know what happened. So, it could either yeah, be yeah, wrong that's, information that's or somebody out there, which this might be a little too far out there, right? Yeah. Somebody out there just really doesn't like you, and it only takes one person to spread misinformation, usually amongst a group. Because if you have a trusted mm. friend and he's telling you something, you're going to take his word for it. And a lot of the JMods are buddies, right? Why wouldn't you? You work for Jagex. It's a great company. Right. It, you're playing your favorite There's game. Clicks. There's definitely clicks. That's, that's So it, it only takes one, really. And I'm, I don't want to say who that is or if that is it, but it, maybe that maybe that happened. Maybe it's misinformation. Yeah, I, just think spread. The, I think the I'm biggest variables lie. is definitely social media. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But yeah. but I like I like that Rakesy was saying that if we can get you and the J mods to talk it out, um, yeah. and totally find some sort of middle ground, that amazing. would be uh, that would be my biggest point. Yeah, cause, I, I, uh, I think going forward, that's probably the best thing that could happen right that, now. You know, I think that's probably the only thing that can happen. Yeah. To mm. be honest with you, I hope so. I think I think you need to just reach out. I think you should take you know, well, be the bigger man. I think you should reach out to them privately don't tweet it reddit it or anything like that privately dm them and just say hey i would really like to get into a call with you guys and just figure this well, out tom and he's done that maybe you can help him reach out yeah. actually have you done no I I, i'm more than happy to yeah. help him with it but i'm asking rendy have you done have it you done for this yourself? situation no but uh mauler has mm -hmm. okay i, I, I think, think you should do it mate 
because yeah. obviously you're the you're the star in this situation, right? And you know you're the person that's been mostly affected by this. Uh, you course. know, not to you're just a very well known content creator. It, it definitely should be you, and I think you should take the bigger ground. And there's not there's nothing the higher ground. There's nothing wrong with that at all. And it's like, hey, if they just decide, you know, not to reply to you or even acknowledge you, that just makes them look small. So, and at the end of the day, listen, I, I obviously know there's a lot of like anti jagex you know mindset and so forth here and um i'd like to say that i don't completely agree with what they do i know they're not perfect but for me personally i do trust them as a company or i wouldn't play their game it's as simple as that and i've seen them be fair and unfair and in this situation it just seems like a lot of miscommunication that could have just been dealt with in such a simplistic way if there was any conversation and i don't think that's necessarily your fault or their fault i think there's blame on both sides by right. the sounds of it yeah yeah for but, sure. Um, i can agree with that mm -hmm. yeah I, I would definitely say mate you should you should try to reach out to them if you want me to i can try and yeah. get you in mm -hmm. contact with somebody i think mod bolton would be probably the one of the best person for that because he, he i haven't heard of that him. mod he sounds very fancy oh I, i've <laughs> had some dealings <laughs> with, with does him he still He's, work there yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like still the lead guy. Yeah, yeah. He's something. I don't with think. Some I don't. I don't think he likes me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, you know, we could try to. Hide. Be I the feel like he's the one. He's the one I put uh, the uh, giant Discord conversation <laughs> screenshot on. Yeah. From the content creator Discord about him saying to NDA everyone. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. He he has to do and, that. And uh, yeah, I remember um, mm -hmm. uh, on their Q and A after that video came out he looked like he was like sweating bullets like yeah. because everyone was asking him about that shit you know yeah he probably um, like watching out for reddit you know he's like oh my god dude, yeah right <laughs> I, I gotta say there's so much drama in a point to click game i mean yeah, the is. simplest game ever made and there's just the amount of drama that we could have multiple podcasts on it's it's too much man it's almost too much it is mm -hmm. at, at this point though it's it's one of those things where jagex this is why it needs to be done private okay it's because jagex cannot publicly come out and discuss this with you in public because it shows ga gaping flaws in whatever their security system is which detected you and mm -hmm. if you are telling the truth has mistakenly accused you of doing something you haven't done which is a hundred percent why they that you need to do this in private that's I, the bottom line mm -hmm. i i agree with that and that's what mod ash said but he also said we don't want to show the log because it's going to show like you said huge security flaws people could go and replicate them and crash yeah. the world blah 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 but what stops you from saying the worlds were crashed on this day and time um with these accounts which we associated to him um and this amount of money was traded between these accounts yeah. and this is the amount he tried to duplicate right and this is why I'm none, saying, none of that is a security concern yeah and, um, and this is why i'm and, saying it's um like they're just damage controlling you know they don't actually have real dirt on you on that particular thing when, when yeah. you world do like you have to be in a portal or something i watch a video but when you explain things in your video i'm so dumb i don't understand it but i enjoy you explaining it so i'm like oh this is cool but I, it just, just goes right <laughs> through my fucking head so you have to be in the portal to do because couldn't they just be like oh where is accounts near other accounts no, or no. no you don't have to be in a portal it's just no literally don't just... explain it fully please <laughs> okay i mean i explained it fully in that video but uh the the, the problem is everyone i think knows can has access to the concept of duping and they did even before my video there was jagex uh Ash, I think, tweeted about how crashing the world can result in rollbacks. Ice Poseidon's drop party was publicly known to result in rollbacks, which crashed the world. All this was publicly known for a long period of time. Um, the thing that's not known is how to crash the world. People, everyone knows that crashing worlds results in rollbacks and dupes, but how to crash the world is the thing that is always changing and what they're always trying to fix because they can't seem to apparently fix it because worlds are still crashing. Um, so, yeah, I don't even know how to crash a world. I don't even have no? the knowledge to know how to oh, crash a world. I, I, was <laughs> gonna, I was gonna add, like, if you guys did reconcile, would you be able to help them with this problem, right? Because you're um, knowledgeable. Well, I don't, 
I don't think I could. I couldn't help them with the world crashing problem, no. I could help them with many other things, but I don't know how to crash a world. <laughs> like, I, ha I had a theory back in 2019 to crash a world, which ended up working, um, which was done by that guy who I reported and who, you know, I went to Jagex about. Um, and, it, yeah, it ended up working. So I could come up with theories to crash the world all day, but, you know... I don't know if any of those work. They probably wouldn't. If you That's were able tough. to get behind like the JMods resources, right, and those kind of things, and see it from the back end, would you maybe have a different feel? Probably of... not. No, I see. No, I, I I can't I even like. I don't know it. much code either. Like I'm, I don't know how to look into game code that well. Yeah, I, you're more of a most error, of right? most of what I do is brute forcing mm -hmm. and deductive reasoning. That's it. Like yeah. that's pretty much everything I do. Yeah, that's from the pretty front impressive end. that you can do that without knowing code. Honestly, that's incredibly yeah. impressive, man. Well, oh my god, I, I did used to know some, but like, I bullshitted my way through college. You know, um, like I was an MIS degree, um, and there was like a C sharp class or two I had to take, but like I can't even remember how to program in yeah. C sharp what, or anything. What so if Jagex all... gave you a sponsorship <laughs> for a college? right where they where they taught you how to code <laughs> like they paid for your college <laughs> no they they hate you know? me way too much to do that yeah i, don't, I, don't think it's yeah. Ever... I was just throwing out spitballs <laughs> there man that would be the best case scenario right i have a, I have a master's degree though i have a bachelor's degree <laughs> yeah that's insane I just, man. Don't, I just don't use them i'm sitting here i'm sitting here crippled in anxiety all the time i uh -huh. can't even really if, if it were up to me honestly at this point in time i'd go out and get a real job um because I, I can't even look at the game right now after this. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, like I have so many mental problems that it's like I. Like to even get on a job interview, I would I would look like a crackhead. <laughs> like <laughs> I would. So I, I'm just trying to deal with the situation one day at a time. That, that breaks my heart, man. Because mm -hmm. to me, your content is such leagues above every content creator, including my own, not to make enemies of other kind of critters they're great yeah, for sure i mean you said you put six months of research in one video you got blender you got these crazy theories you're doing things yo. that people never thought yo could i don't do that so i didn't know how to i didn't know how to use blender like two months ago i never opened the program and you so. learned it and you for a video i mean no one's i don't do that right have you seen racy edit no all i do is no. play the game <laughs> no none of us none of us can do that right Why are you so throwing it... me under the bus man hey, <laughs> I'm, I'll I'm tell sorry you the first listen this was many 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 years ago probably back in like the early 2000s the first time i successfully downloaded sony vegas after multiple trojan horses uh, I opened up the program <laughs> and I closed it and did not open it for a year because I was like, that is way too much shit yeah, to try and learn right now. It, he was like, wow. <laughs> nah. I don't like that. Try Blender. It's like I opened Even Blender wow, once wow. and my mind exploded. I just, I yeah. could. It's a never ending loophole. Like, I, I, it, it's fun because you get stuck in so many. How do I do this? How do I do this? How do yeah, I do this? This, this, this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. By the way, Randy, on, on the topic of like mental health surrounding this like i can only imagine you know how, how it feels right now because it, it must be horrible and i truly do feel sorry man but like i do genuinely think a lot of that anxiety would be relieved when you have a conversation with them and i think that you know as long as you can reason it out and speak to them i think that you will feel a lot better afterwards or at least i'd hope so mm-hmm yeah. Well, you also need, I, I can see that. Yeah, you also would need Jagex to actually want to not just be like, "All right, I'll just do it to do it," but more like, "I'm here to listen." You know, like like here, here's that's the, the thing, right? So if Rendy, if Rendy's the person who you know puts his hand out and says, "Hey, can we have a chat about this?" and if Jagex declined to do so, it definitely doesn't make Rendy look bad. Yeah, okay? it makes them look bad for sure. Exactly. So, like. It's basically a win-win situation for yourself. And, you know, with how adamant you are that you haven't done what they've accused you of doing, I'm inclined to believe you. I don't have yeah, no, no reason I, not I to. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that that's why it needs to be it needs to be chatted about. And I don't think it can be done publicly. And that's probably why nothing else has came from this. So, yeah, you know, for sure. 
that's pretty important um because it it would be a shame dude like if you're thinking about going and getting another job it's like damn that's such a missed opportunity when this could be this could be just sorted out in one or two calls or maybe even one call agree i mean even look at his setup i mean that's all for content right yeah, it's yeah. not like his master's degree is going to use that like what else you could shoot like maybe porn i don't master know degree. but i actually honestly, use this for some of the blender stuff uh, yeah. Use the program for 2D tracking on a on a like a green screen, uh, right? mm. yeah, on a green screen, and I I would do the movements and then I would uh, track that three the 2D movement into 3D movement and make the characters act out that 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 movement oh, I'm doing behind me on the green screen. So like mm. the swimming part of you know the intro, like yeah. I literally was I was on this stool back here. <laughs> I mean, it's swimming in midair. <laughs> yes, bro. Uh, that's sick. Just imagine me doing hey. that without a shirt on, just in the that, middle of the day. That would save no so much <laughs> animating effort, you know, right? Bro. Yeah, it does. Damn. Yeah, that's you why have I, just, more... I just had to find workarounds for everything, and, and Goody was a big help with that too. Yeah, yeah. you have By more. Way, you him. have more studio power than Oprah, right? <laughs> I mean, that's, <laughs> that's crazy. And just think how big that takes up a space in his room or his, his house, right? Imagine having guests over, like, what the fuck is this, right? It's a huge space, <laughs> and that space is for content. It's a dedication of that space, right? That's an office, mm -hmm. so... It, yeah, it was, it, was all, it was all really in the past for that stream idea I had where um, it was just, like, totally interactive stream, chat controls, everything. But, I man, I, could, I, I couldn't handle that. I was... Yeah, yeah. Way too God. mentally exhausting, physically exhausting. Yeah. Um, so I had to, I had redid everything since. Like I used to have a cage and over there and a bicycle over here, and I still yeah. have too much um, stimuli from other people. I still have I this uh, steering wheel over here to the left, and I still need to throw that toilet in the trash. Uh, if you can see that, <laughs> I saw a doggo. Yeah. yeah. Your your that, brain is like perfect dog. for a content creator. My I dog swear. named Nibbler, by the way. Nice. Uh, oh man, that's a good name. You, you want to hear a crazy story? Yeah. Uh, go back ahead. when I was doing Inferno capes for people, I told myself, um, you know, like once I can do a pure Inferno cape, I'm gonna open that Inferno cape business. Blah blah blah. I was in 2017, and I'm also gonna buy a dog and name it Nibbler. I don't know why that was part of the plan, <laughs> but <laughs> like maybe now I can have enough income to support a dog. So. <laughs> that's why the dog's name is nibbler crikey that's, amazing. that's hey, amazing so rendy on you know obviously on the subject of bug abusing and stuff like that so i know from the past in pre-oc that there have been a couple duplication glitches and i know that the duplication glitches that are the most harmful are those that are not spoken about and they will not be spoken about and they will just be abused over and over again and people won't really notice, but it's going to be happening. So my question is, are there any other duplication glitches which currently are taking place that you know of? Or, or is there a possibility that that could be the case and that's happening right now? I've always known some sketchy people in the community who will say like, oh, I have this this dupe going on um i had one guy threaten me and tell me he was gonna take down my channel if one of my videos got his dupe patched or something <laughs> recently uh bloody ass man Jeez. yeah and uh i couldn't tell if he was joking to be honest but these people are all just um i, I feel like a lot of them just bullshit a lot of the time and you can't take anything what they say to heart because mm -hmm. uh I don't know. I I think there might be some, but I I highly doubt it. There's always the possibility for some to occur. Um, yeah. but a lot of the a lot of the the main game breaking things that have been going on, I think most of them have been fixed. Like I said, I'm, I haven't really been on in two and a half months, but from what people have told me, most of that has been fixed. And you could do so many different things with that, probably including some of the things you're talking about now. If you really thought enough into it, um, but I think now RuneScape's in a much better place than it was in like uh, three or four months ago. So I would hope so, so how, man. How yeah. Did that happen? How, how is it in a better place now compared to then? In so, um, the 
the hard actions I was talking about all throughout my last video, I know you haven't seen it, but um, those could be used in so many different scenarios. Like, that's what allowed me to take invincibility places and, and use it uh, throughout RuneScape. That's what allowed me to smuggle Inferno capes. That's what allowed me to do quests on level threes that shouldn't be technically possible. It's just the way you use it and the other you have to pair so many bugs together with this one main core mechanic to, to basically find what you want. And that's the hard part. But that core mechanic, the hard actions, I think there were so many of them that you could use in different ways. I'm pretty sure they, they've all gotten fixed. There might still be one somewhere. Um, but they were fixing them as I was literally doing them throughout this video. I was being tracked the whole time I was doing all this footage by the way i don't know so that's why it confuses me even more that they banned me just now after the video released um because i would do something and before my eyes it'd literally be hot fix in the game so um like i'd go in a cutscene, and this cutscene would have tabs unlocked like you could access your inventory and stuff like that most cutscenes only you can access your friends chat your ignore list um and your and uh maybe like your music tab um but this there was there's some specific cutscenes that don't have this so like an example of this would be i would go inside of a cutscene and that normally has all the tabs unlocked that i would use for different things and so i go in and the tabs are unlocked and literally i, I mess it up so i have to go in again i go in again the entire tab menu is gone it's just vanished like they've they hot fixed it like on the fly as i was literally looking at it like um <laughs> So they they were, do you, are they tracking you to find the bugs you find to like patch them there and then? Like maybe yeah, they are usu using usually, you as like a bug tester. Yeah, yeah, they would, but usually it wouldn't be right in front of my eyes. Usually it would be like four or five days later. Um, and I would go and test something, you know, that worked four days before and it wouldn't work that time. Were they using um, your IP to find you and find I, your accounts? I, I, I don't think so because I, w I use VPNs for everything. Mm, okay. Um, they might know like one account and they might associate it through emails or something. Some of my accounts are connected through emails, so I'm thinking maybe that might be a way they do it. Um, other than that, I'm, I'm not completely sure about the process. Um, so one way or another, someone's always watching you. And I wonder if that's the person who may or may not be spreading that misinformation, right? I don't want to call anyone out, but if someone is watching you 24-7, that takes a lot of resources, right? If they're not going to respond yeah. to random reported bugs or fix the door glitch and the Steam client has been there for four months, how they got time to watch you, right? They yeah, don't. Yeah, like, like if you see... If you see on uh, the ending of my last video, um, they, they patch Priest and Peril pretty much as I'm getting it done on the update. So they change the dialogues for the ending of Priest and Peril, and I'm only 30 minutes ahead of them before they implement it in the next system update. Yeah, they've been keeping an eye on oh. you very closely then. Yeah. They're watchers. There's just so many little things, too. It, it's weird. Sometimes I think they would fix things. Like, they fixed something in the... They did something in the feud quest. I can't remember what. But my friend Chesbro was telling me this. He's like, this literally worked yesterday, and now it doesn't. And it wasn't even a bug. It was just like... um I can't remember what it was. It's just something really stupid that the chat the the chat dialogues had changed for like one of the NPCs or something. And it was like the quest I did the day prior. I'm like, what the? Like some of it didn't make any sense, but um, I don't know. I I think like they know they're watching me, but they don't know what they're looking for, kind of thing. There, so, it's yeah. a real shame all this happened too, because I feel like you guys could have such a good relationship. You could find bugs, tell them about it, they could patch it, you upload the video. It's still content, but all this stuff was patched. It, it almost seems like the thing that should have happened, right? I it, it sh I don't know, man. It's like a yin and yang thing, and they just didn't want to have a part of that. They wanted to be the complete opposite. Not smart, in my I do, opinion. I, I do agree with that quite a lot. Um, <laughs> So, Rendy, as somebody who's very familiar with, obviously, brute forcing and, you know, finding bugs in RuneScape, in your opinion, from an outsider's perspective, to somebody that knows nothing about doing bugs in game and so forth, is the most damaging thing that can happen is some sort of dupe slash money 
um, you know, somebody making money to sell that money? Or does it go a step beyond that to the point where there could be a bug that's discovered that could completely destroy the game? Is that something which is in the realm of possibility or do we just not know that? That's some doomsday scenario hey. thing. Yeah, because that that to me seems like, you know, it's like it sucks if the economy gets screwed over because of a dupe. But like imagine if a bug was found that was like the Missy Ango glitch in Pokemon and it's Missy like, it Ango. Your game Boy. You mean Dude, missing you though? The, I don't know. Do you, do you remember the little seaweed monster you'd find on fucking Pokemon yellow, blue and red? And you it would like what? wipe all yeah. of your fucking saves Great. like imagine if oh, they that. find a bug that does that for runescape and they're just like well shit we're back to mm -hmm. 2007 like do you think that uh, could actually happen or is that not, just not i don't think you can wipe saves without some kind of like internal espionage or something you know but i think the worst thing that could happen would would not be duping the real world trade but it would be just literally having the knowledge to crash servers and it being very easily done and them not being able to detect it and you you go in and crashing every single game server so no one can play that might be the worst case scenario mm -hmm. and you know if they couldn't detect it then you know how are they going to fix it no one can play their game um That'd and i would honestly i would honestly say anything involving scamming people it would even be worse in my opinion than um than duping uh for real world training because then you're directly affecting another person you know for the worse mm -hmm. but other than that no i don't i mean i, don't think I, I really would it. i would argue that duping obviously does have that knock-on effect oh, it, in the same sense yes like it does items crash and so forth right well it's more but of a I, community I, sense in that, in that yeah mm. yeah it, it's like a, a slower paced damage right than like an immediate mm. to one person mm -hmm. but like i mm -hmm. i think you know obviously i think the big issue here is the if these glitches and bugs get into the wrong hands and i'm kind of glad that it's you that obviously stumble upon these because i don't think you're being malicious with this but if it were to get into the wrong hands and somebody that was just out there and said fuck it i'm gonna do as much damage as possible i imagine that's probably something that jagex they probably think along those lines and i i think they may see your videos in a sense right they as see an you inspiration as a as an inspiration yes. and that's to... why i believe they yeah. banned those accounts in the first yeah. place mm -hmm. which yeah. brings me back to my other point that that's just the dumbest thing they could have done right why not harness your knowledge of of that instead of actually make you an enemy right why why would you poke the bear that could beat your ass who i don't it would know make man. more sense if they did it and all the things i put in that video still worked but i gave them a two-month heads up with five paragraphs of information for them to fix it you know did they and respond it was, it to was that? no they didn't respond i'm assuming they probably didn't read it in that case i don't i, I mean well, i bug reported did, it i bug reported it and i sent it in a dm so like i mean here, here's the thing and like, I, I sent it in a dm because i specifically say in the dm uh well, i know you guys really don't make bug reports and this is kind of sensitive information so i figured i'd dm it to you hmm yeah. yeah. I, I think a problem as well is that Jagex don't have anybody specifically like whose job it is to deal with those kind of messages. It's like if you were an employee for Jagex, you're working your nine hours or whatever it is a day, and then you get a five paragraph message, you're probably going to look at it and be like, oh, I'll read that another time. You know, but there's nobody there that actually is there being paid to specifically look at those things. So I expect it wasn't even read, to be honest. That's an assumption, obviously. You, you have but... a good point, Rakesy, but remember, Mod Ash replies to literally Everybody. everything. And then if you have Rendy, who's known to know exploits, it almost seems very He's uh, avoiding. unintelligent yeah. not yeah. to take everything he says seriously, right? If he has, just why wouldn't it's you read it? Is Mod Ash in the old script? Was it sent to Mod Ash? And is he also sent in the content creator Discord? It was not sent to Mod Ash. It was sent to the anti cheat specialist, uh, Tyron. Who okay, would definitely just, know who Randy is, right? Who has yeah. DMs open to for that specific reason. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I'm just seeing if Mod Ash is actually in this Discord real quick. Because no, I've I never seen so. him in here. I don't think so. No, I've never seen him either. And you don't really get replies yeah. either, sadly. Right. I'm glad they made it, but overall, yeah, you don't get replies on the content creator Discord. Right, I'm at not all. gonna lie. I've gotten replies, but I don't do it often. 
you know it's like for, yeah like some really pressing matters you know like with the game yeah that's the only you, you know what i get replies from other is. other content creators help me out which is funny <laughs> right i get i get replies and i get solo mission like let me help you out or cold one i'm like hey thanks buddy right <laughs> thank you for helping me but usually no i don't i don't get jmod replies sadly mm -hmm. yeah. um you were talking though about they do. malicious people getting their hands on things um yeah I've experienced that a lot in the past and like like I said a lot of those people have came from people I knew in the past and um they're just not good people like um I've had people from that community like there's an actual bug abuse community I've never been a part of it um but they intentionally try and spread um you know misinformation about me because they hate my guts because I'm doing things that in turn get their things patched that they're using for malicious intent mm -hmm. Um, and oh, it's, a double whammy. it's a double whammy. Yeah. yeah so I'm, <laughs> I'm getting hated on by this side of the fence, them, and then I'm getting hated on by Jagex at the same time. I'm sitting yeah. here in the middle, you know, you're, taking you're, you're all literally the... a white collar bug abuser. You, you, know? you, you're basically <laughs> at a point where you have to pick a side and I'm hoping you come to the good side, not the dark side. I mean, honestly, I mean, I'm, I'm honestly just at the point where I don't want to pick any sides and I just fade away, you know? <laughs> but I, I, yeah. I, I know, dude, and yeah. I, I can completely understand that. I, I, I truly do, mate. Yeah. I, I genuinely, mate, from the bottom of my heart, I do very much feel sorry for you at this point. Yeah. And uh, I hope that you manage to get it resolved. I really do, because you don't deserve to be going through this kind of anxiety. And I think... I've got no reason not to believe you, mate. And I, I do think you're a nice guy. I, I don't think, touch wood, that you're not being malicious with this kind of stuff. And um, it kind of makes sense why the people that are malicious with it would dislike you because you expose a lot of that stuff and it gets yeah, patched, you like you said. Way, you know? Yeah, if you think about it, why would they be against you if you're doing all this stuff, right? There, there's yeah. no reason. They would only go for you if you were uh, standing in their way. That's yeah. the only reason they would try to create that. So it, in that sense, it almost feels like it proves somewhat of your innocence there, that they're going after you, the the bug deli and the Discord. Yeah, and, and that was in the original post that got 25,000 upvotes to it. Ridiculous. That. Would you be yeah. able to shed light on that Discord, maybe for more of the podcast, but if you guys were to reconcile, like, would you be able to shed light to the JMods about that uh, Discord and what they're up to? Or Because I don't I'm know. I'm not involved if, in that Discord. Yeah. I've never been in it. I just Fair know enough. the people in it from no, my past. I think past. it's smart of you to not be in it. Yeah. yeah, and smart. what's weird also is they, they, they spread weird lies, you know, um, not only like I've been threatened of being doxxed, like I said, by them, but they spread weird lies like, oh, you know, I guess they're based around jealousy or something, but they're like, we've told this guy everything he knows and all his information comes from us. Whereas like I've purposely disassociated myself from those people for two years. So how would my information, you know, come from those people? Um, it's like they try to discredit me, and then I've seen even some of them go on Reddit and start up all this, you know, hatred fuel um, against me. And a lot of the creators of a lot of those posts are actually people from that community. And they've even, I've even seen them put doctored photos of me, Discord photos of me places. I've seen them take things I say out of context and remove the top line of like what we're talking about. Like one of these was. Um, this guy was talking to me about server updates and how it can roll back, um, an account past a certain way. And then I say, oh, well, shit, you know, like I only have a week to try this. And this was back in 2019. And so he, he cuts off the top of the message where he starts talking about system updates. And then he puts the bottom part and he's like, this is the guy who never wanted to crash the world when we're specifically talking about system updates, not world crashes, you know? So it's just like little things like that. Uh, uh, that shit. They just sound. Me. They sound that's like massive fans, man. That that's shit haunts me like all that. the time. Yeah, it's just like it all comes from that group, and oh, yeah. unfortunately, some of those people are now owners of more prominent uh, discords. I'm not going to say the names, um, and so they they spread all this disinformation to hundreds and hundreds of people, and it gets totally warped. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, such a toxic. Um, just such a toxic so, God damn. Do you think yeah. they have any affiliation with maybe gambling sites or gold selling sites? Because I feel like they if they were to be just, other. oh yeah, right? one of these owners of this Discord literally like makes fishing sites and yeah.
Why yeah, wouldn't they, right? If exactly, they're going to try to do yeah. anything they can to make money, then they have right. their hands yeah, in every... Like, the other stream. one, there's another one, you know, who literally hacks Twitter names and sells them on the black market. Like, they're all very sketchy people, and, um, yeah, and now they own discords that have JMods even sitting inside of them. So, uh... For real? That's a story for another time. Yeah. 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 That's crazy. Another time. Fuck that. <laughs> Randy, if I if I may give you a little bit of advice, by the way, um, in regards to seeing this, because by the sounds of it, it sounds like this stuff quite affects you, right? And it plays on your minds. Um, yeah. You ever heard the the good old saying, "Ignorance is bliss." Yeah. I wish I was ignorant all the time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'll, tell, I'll tell I'll tell you a story right now. So. When De when um Jagex did Dead Mahmood Mansions, okay, I got invited to that, and oh, it was yeah? at a time when I had, <laughs> yeah, I I was invited to that first time Tell announcing me. it. Yeah. <laughs> but um, mm -hmm. I remember this conversation I had with Chris Archie, who came up to me, and he came up to me, and he was he kind of approached me in a way which was, I I, I guess like in a sensitive manner, he approached me. And he said to me, he said, uh, have you seen the threads on Reddit? And I was like, no. I was like, I, I don't use Reddit. And he was like, good. <laughs> Keep it that way. Because apparently uh, people were outraged that I was in Deadman Mansions and that Moni, uh, I think he's a Swedish or Finnish guy, yeah. wasn't invited to it. And to this day, I never oh. read a single one of those Reddit posts. Yeah. And you know what? I'm fucking happy and carefree. I Bro. could not give two shits. That's, so, yeah. What, what were they saying? Like, we want the other weird accent, not this one. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't even know. I didn't, I, I didn't read it. I had literally no care because here's the thing, right? It's like, if you're going to be in the public eye and people are obviously going to see you, they're going to judge you. And there's good people out there and there's people that have whatever. They might have issues and like like a lot of people project, right? It's like if somebody leaves yeah. a really nasty comment, a lot of the time, mate, it's not you that's caused not, that comment to happen. It, it's yeah. probably like an inner reflection of themselves. Yeah. Okay, it's they true. Were probably I, can, I can say that from personal experience because back in the day, I was a very angry and just sort of like I was like that. Like back in my early mm -hmm. days of RuneScape, bro, I, I I'm blocked on Bone Souls YouTube channel to this day because I left them a nasty comment. Okay, like I, I was you that say? guy at one point in time. What well, that What'd little fucker! I'll tell you, I'm still outraged about it. There was some truth, <laughs> right? So he uploaded a he uploaded a video where he it was titled something like "Killing Rushers." Okay, and he basically had like a load of little homies running around spec transferring him as he declawed and soul splitted people through their prayer. And uh, I wasn't rushing. I was hybriding oh, in Varrock in PvP worlds, and he fucking did that, and I lost like 50 mil or something, so I was really pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> and I got thrown into a video where I was a rusher, and I despised rushers. I thought they were the scum of the earth, so I was really pissed off, but, you know, I'm going on a tangent. But, um, God, I don't, what the fuck was I even saying? On ice, I was a general on Ice Giant I wanted, Nine CC back in like 2009, and he banned me. <laughs> <laughs> banned you because I, I he started a dicing clan chat and I called him out on it and he just banned me. Oh, <laughs> who who here's but not I've banned by my boy him. Nate? <laughs> I'm not banned. I'm a but I've talked to him but, since we're on good terms. Lord, I'm a no, I, I, I think <laughs> you, you know something that I um, uh, internalized myself when it comes to you know seeing nasty comments and stuff like that. Right? Is I kind of I I'm, I'm a thinker. I think a lot inside my head and stuff, and it's been a it's been a process to get to this point. It takes time, but like, if somebody ever leaves me a bad comment, I filter through it. Okay, it's like sometimes you get a comment which is negative, but it's constructive. It might just be in a very harsh way, and then other times you're gonna get a comment which is so unproductive, and it's just like, okay, you're having a bad day. I'm just gonna move on with my day, okay. and um. You know, they say you have to have, like, thick skin and stuff like that. And obviously, you're in a situation that I have never been in. Because it's not just a case of a random person who's come forward and said something nasty to you. It's literally Dangerous the people. company of the game that you play for a living has outed you for something that you're saying that you haven't done. So, yeah. in this case, I don't think it's as simple as just turning a cheek and looking the other way. 
if there is anything I can do to help you get into contact with Jmod, I will happily sure. do everything I can because I think that um, I, I think it needs to be done, and yeah, I can understand I, your frustration. I just sw uh, sent Sween a DM in the middle of this while we were talking about it. So yeah, hey, good, good motivation. Lads. Well done, uh, man. We'll, we'll push it though. OSR's <laughs> podcast boys, honestly, Here we go. I would love to see something. Justice for Randy in yeah. the comments. Let's go. <laughs> And don't because be mean. I, don't I, be mean. Don't don't say mean. You know, of course not. Nothing after mean. after hearing like having you on the podcast, like obviously I, I only watch your videos, so I've never spoken to you before. And like as a person, I think you're a really nice fucking guy. I think you're down to earth. I don't think you're malicious at all. And I think this is just being a hell of a misunderstanding, man. And I think it would be a goddamn shame if we lost you because of something as silly as this. Yeah, Seriously. I I appreciate that. For sure. Um, for sure. Hey, dude, yeah. if the J-Mods don't got your bag, the content creator homies do, all right? It, every time, every time, it, man. It's just like, I, you know, I've heard the saying, like, um, don't take anything that anyone says personal because they're just, you know, disagreeing with your content. They don't like your content, you know. It's not you they don't like. Um, but, like, lately, it's it's been, like, the opposite. It's like, um, that's what really gets to me. It's like people attacking me personally, like, saying I'm a malicious dude, like a bad dude, um... You know, just I can't think of the exact words, but I've just had, especially after this, like a lot of that like hatred yeah. towards my personality in general, not just my content, and yeah. that's probably why I've I've been so like angry and, and yeah yeah for sure. No, I've it. I've had some bad experiences with Reddit like in the earlier yeah. years of me doing it, and I like would never want to post anything or comment anything on Reddit just because there's always somebody that's like, oh my god, this guy he's so arrogant he's so yeah mean he never you know he always treats his fears like shit and i was like what me like what do you mean sometimes i disagree with people but like i never be like your mom is fat and i never say i do like that, you know? <laughs> i love it i yeah. love it Dude, i make your mama jokes all yeah. the time I, I always, always say their cheeks like, or taking money i don't yeah. care mama fat. <laughs> yeah but like just me disagreeing on the internet and then all of a sudden people extrapolate that as like yeah this guy's an asshole he never agree. He never like agrees with anything. You know, he's always mean to his viewers. I'm like, I can't. I can't disagree with people. Like, Rice, you, like I'm so sad. You know? Rice, I'm sorry, but I shit on people all the time. I don't even do dude, that. Right? You know, I and, do. Like, it, I you should try I got it. Comments it's for that. It's, I'm like, I'm like, dude, this is mind blowing. How how people are saying these things about me? Like, when I'm like, I'm literally trying not to be an asshole. You know, like hard. But it's like, <laughs> you know, what I mean, it's so weird. And it's like, it, it doesn't make sense, but. Lately, it's been a lot better. Lately, it's been a lot better. Oh, dude, better, so, mate, I, I had some, crazy. I had someone come in my chat a few months ago when I was streaming, and I was doing something that was really annoying me in game. I was really frustrated. I don't know yeah. what it was, mm -hmm. and they commented something in my chat, and obviously I was having a bad day, and I was probably not reading the chat very much, or I, my mentor, I was just in a bad place because I was pissed off with the game, and uh, it was some comment along the lines of like, "Oh my god, how you fallen." from how you were a few years ago when you were on when you're on jagex's live stream Crazy. and stuff and i didn't even reply to it i read it and i was just like i don't care i'm just having a bad day that's it that's the bottom line here i, yeah. I read those comments in my mind like a really whiny voice and that's why i always go to the mom because i'm thinking it's like a little kid and then i'm gonna go slap up the mom's cheeks and they never <laughs> like that but before they reply i'll ban them and then i start and i continue for like 10 minutes my chat loves it and honestly, Bryce, I think you should try it. Just kind of write a couple jokes no, down dude, beforehand. I used to, I used to, but like it, it, it just added more feel. So nowadays, it does. I just don't really bother. You know, it's been mm -hmm. a lot better. Like I actually posted something on Reddit, and like no, not a single person talked shit. I was like, wow, okay, I guess something changed. You know, but like, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it just it, it's 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 crazy. Every little thing that you do is like somebody could really be like, I just don't like his voice, and then like he, they can extrapolate to like, yeah, this guy, he's just. Like a bad guy, but then it literally came just down to like my voice or something, you know. It's like what? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> In a real life, they probably look like an ogre, yeah, and like, you know, just you know, horrible no. things are going wrong, and they just cannot deal with it. So they got to take it out on my poor, my poor boy Rice. Yeah, you it's, know, it's, it's not it's, right, it's, man. It's, but like honestly, yours is worse though, because then you know you have like, you know, you're you're now you're being framed for like, oh, he's a bug abuser, you know, he's like he cheating, he he's and, effectively you know. being defamed. Mm -hmm. by, the, by the sounds of it, that, infamous, that's why man. you've become it infamous, you know, at, which at is point. horrible. But I mean, yeah. look who else is infamous, right? The guy who slapped up everyone in Falador. 
So you will forever be known. You know, like I'd be if I did it, I'd be repping it right now. I'd be like, right. hell, the Durio three, two, one. He fucking killed yeah, everyone. See, you're oh, you're prideful. Yeah. You know what I've realized, man. You're a prideful man. You actually, you know, you you have pride in the things that you do. So when people are talking stuff that you didn't do, it's like, bro, it's not even me. What are you doing? You know, like. Hey, Rindy, yeah, I have a sure. request for you. Okay, mm -hmm. so if it does turn out that you did do this stuff and you have the conversation with Jagex, can you please, once you disappear from the internet, post a random video on your Twitter on a yacht, flexing like a Rolex <laughs> and some cash and be just being like, it worked, boys. Wait, <laughs> you just see me the in the background. Yeah, I'd have, to, I'd have to do a lot of blender work for that. <laughs> you see me in the <laughs> background, I got like work. a Jagex shirt. I'm like, finally! I know. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I think, um, yeah. you know, it's good conversation talking about, you know, dealing with criticism online and stuff like that. Sure. And I, I think everyone deals with it differently. And I, I think something that's helped myself is, I, I guess, knowing and understanding my own intentions. And my own intentions have only ever been to try and make people's days better. And also, and I, I know it sounds cliche and a bit cringe, but like try and no, sure. put a smile sure. on someone, put a smile on someone's face. I'm not trying to hurt people. I'm trying to do something which people will enjoy. That's the bottom line. And to even go a step further, it's, I would say, to have that kind of um, the self-esteem to know that you're not a bad person and that you're not doing something to try and hurt others and you are trying to do a positive thing. And just knowing and being able to say to yourself, I'm a pretty good guy and I'm not trying to fuck people over here. I'm just trying to do a good thing. It's like, if you can go with that mentality, it's like, sure, you're going to see an occasional comment that might bring you down a bit, but like, it's going to be nothing compared to like, you know, the good days and in the grand scheme of things, like knowing what you're planning to do and why you're doing it, I, I think is something which is very good as well. Agreed. I don't, yeah. I don't even know if that makes sense, but yeah. no, it's hard. To, it's hard to word this stuff because it's all like feelings and emotion. Yeah. It's yeah. Very no, I mean, like, like it's the world, beautiful, bro. Like, think about it, right? Like news, drama, that stuff sells. And but but unfortunately, because it sells, if you know, people feed on that, and they, they get into it. So I, all I'd say is like, yo, like there's a lot of negativity in this world and it's all, it's never in, like, it's always good to be more positive. Like you can't have enough of that. So, you know, it's worth, it's just worth to, you know, kind of like offset some of all that negativity, you know, cause news is all about drama nowadays, you know, even like formal news. Yeah. All they do is talk about bad stuff nowadays. They they really are talking oh, yeah. about stuff. So. Well, good. You know, you're not gonna click on good news. Up. You know, <laughs> dog was saved from thing. fire. What? Milk is killing elderly. Click. You know. It's, yeah, exactly. So of course. you gotta it's you out. gotta be a nicer person, cause uh, or else like you're just gonna let all this negative stimuli overwhelm you, and then and then everybody is like that, and that's it. You know. Yeah. And it's whatever good. they say, dude, just know I'm on your side, man. Yeah, I no. I personally I I don't trust Jagex that much. Um, I know a lot of those J mods are, they love the game, and a lot of them are great, but they. They're human. When you have yeah, when you have multiple cases of them hiring people that have cheated the game, it, it just doesn't bring a lot of trust, man. So I, I got your back, dude. I'll, I'll always believe in you, no matter man, what. I appreciate Rindy, that. If, you, if you can get Mint in that cool when you get in with Sween, that would be fantastic. <laughs> yeah, like, well, I'm, saying, I'm, I'm a middleman. I'm a middleman, and you know, I I hear I hear all all sides, the company perspective, the panic. You know, and they're like the feeling of threat from the fact that you're exposing these bugs and maybe encouraging other people to do it or something like that. You know, I can see from that point of view, but at the same time, it's it's not it's not like you know finding bugs is inherently a bad thing, right? It could be a good thing, it could be you know it could be a bad thing, and you're mostly doing it for you know positive. I was mainly control, doing it you know? because I enjoy doing it. Like that's yeah, <laughs> like that's the main reason why I was doing what I was doing is because I. I haven't enjoyed playing RuneScape in a very long time. Even, um, even when I was making like lower the better like years ago, I didn't really enjoy it because I would have to scrap an account um, and restart, and I, it would just be kind of it wouldn't be enjoyable for me. But you know, when I got back into the game in like January, um, I kind of had to because of my like financial situations. Um, but also, I found like all these cool things i could do and i was like hell this is really fun like this is the first time i have actually enjoyed the game in years and i can i could use this knowledge now and like progress this account and 
I have this whole timeline planned out and I could do this final task, the fire cape, you know, on this account. And it sounds like a really fun journey to stick to one account and do what I want to do and use all these crazy things in between to get to that end point. And, um, yeah, so that's, that's why I was doing it mainly, you know, it's not, Dude, people and, and... think it, people think it's like, Oh, he's just showing bugs to make money. You know, I make shit all money. Um, and I just enjoy playing the game in a really specific way because I got bored of playing it, you know, the same way that I've been playing it for 16 years. So, and, and to be fair, you you didn't use those bugs to you know hurt anybody and and whatever. You were right. just showing it off, which you know, it's yeah. fine. It's fine in my opinion for that. And you would but always it, tell them so. the bugs beforehand, right? It seems like you were yeah. telling people like months ahead. It's like, here's what I plan to do. Here's what's going on. Here's what you should. Yeah, you're pretty for. responsible in my in my eyes when it comes to you know messing with bugs because it, it it can be used easily for like malicious reasons. But you you know it's very clear to yeah. me that you put a lot of thought into how you don't do that and actually just use it in a way that's yeah. It know, was always about making pretty, cool accounts for me. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, this, cool this is the but thing. useless accounts. Like, that's <laughs> I, it. Yeah, like and, and you, just showing you, it to the world like. You, know, you obviously nice. have like a set of skills for doing this. Like, I don't think you give yourself enough credit when you say you just brute force. Because, may I could fuck around in RuneScape all day, and I can guarantee I don't know where to look for bugs. But I definitely feel like mm -hmm. you could be enhanced. Okay, they could harness you if you get into good. Like, if you have a good relationship with Jagex, I, I see it like this. I've just pulled up Sir Pugger's YouTube. What does Sir Pugger do? He goes and finds bots, and he clearly has a healthy and good relationship with Jagex where they somewhat work together. Imagine if they were to harness you in a sense where it was like, you can go out, discover these bugs, and then tell them directly and be like, make sure this is patched. I'm going to upload a video on it. The end. Like, how fucking sick would that be? Like, you could literally do pretty much what Sir Pugger's doing, but in your own special way and to do with actual bugs instead of bots like that that could actually be a reality and that could be a really really good path for you and it would be super interesting and as long as you and jagex have that back and forth and you get on those good terms <clears throat> like that could potentially be a reality like who knows that could be a series yeah, road kinda, to yeah, bugless runescape episode one yeah no it does make a lot of sense though because yeah like what sword is doing could could also be something that could turn to uh, like you know used maliciously but he found a way that he's like he can promote it and and help jagex and for some reason jagex is okay with that right so it's a little unfair for them to not give you this kind of like you know right thought process too because you know it could be used for great things and and they need to i don't know find a way to see that you know for sure doesn't add yeah. up doesn't add up at all yeah. it's just so weird such mm -hmm. a weird scenario right there and the other the other thing is like um there's no like line and in, in bug abuse as to what is bannable, and what's not really. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's like um, I've always like questioned that, and I thought I, I thought I kind of figured it out, but apparently not again, um, because like I was being tracked. Some of my accounts got banned for bug abuse, um, and I figured out you know what caused that, and I tried to avoid everything to do with that on the main account I was playing on. And it's it still got banned after the video release. So I still to this day don't know what is, what isn't. But even on that recent blog post where they talked about me, you know, they said we usually don't ban for bugs that are not malicious in nature and don't really harm anyone. So it kind of yeah. confirmed what I had mm -hmm. said, you know, but their actions didn't confirm. Yeah, I think I the said. missing element in this is the proper communication show. Because like how is Sir Pugger able to, you know, go and like talk with all these different like, you know, botting communities and stuff and not get in trouble right he must have a person in the company that he can actually relay on and and the person is influential enough that it's like guys don't worry about him he's clean you know like who is that person right i think it might be worth you to investigate because he definitely has a few j mods that must you know know the situation about what he does right and and also yeah. yep. let other people know that from the company I mean, that you're they're clean he's clean right they give him data now so yeah. They're obviously on good terms. Yeah, you yeah. Know? Like I, I would say it's worth it for you to find out how he does it because, I, I think it's gonna be the same people, right? That you're gonna have to rely on, basically. I, 
Yeah. If I can take a guess, I, I think maybe what's happened here is because you've had a lack of communication with them. I, I feel like you've kind of been treading that line where it's they were looking at. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think maybe you were just treading on the line for too long with little to no communication on either end. And maybe they didn't understand what your full intent was. was. And to be honest with you, like seeing the video when the duping was happening and like when you came into the discord and you know frantically wrote out what you're writing because you didn't want the game economy to crash in some ways it's almost like you're guilty by association and that's what yeah. it seems like yeah i'm not gonna lie i felt a similar vibe when i first saw that event but obviously it's not the case anymore because i hear i hear your you know your side of it and it's completely yeah you know not, not yeah, anymore. The assumptions make assholes out of everyone yeah, right sure. so mm -hmm. That's, don't worry i didn't spread any rumors i was like i don't know enough and you know yeah all good i wish more people could be like that honestly it just but yo are, yeah. when are we ever gonna talk about the fact that rice cup's been duping tebos now for like four years what are you talking this man about, has like dude? 10 in his bank bro when don't you give him one away rice yo, dude, yeah for two thousand likes, two thousand like <laughs> no, 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 no 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 this is not for no this is this is not official statement not official game ban rice it's over dude <laughs> The day that Jagex allow you to like hang items in your house, he's just gonna have loads of Tebos as like trophies. Bro, the worst every thing, single room. The worst thing that's That'd happened cool. to me with Jagex is me getting my account locked because I was using a VPN in China. That was it. You know, I'm pretty clean. <laughs> yeah. 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 I've I, I've got I've gone through that as well, and it was yeah. just you know, I, it, it's a very difficult situation. Like when something really bad goes down, and you want to get in contact with them, if you have that line of contact, like you are frantic. And uh, mm -hmm. I had a similar thing when my account got hacked and I just messaged them. I just like, yo, someone's on my account. Lock it, ban it, do what you got to do. Just do not let them on the account. Because it was just a case of like, I don't want them going into clan chats or the grand exchange begging for money and people giving it, you know? I was like, even if I can't get it back, just fucking like, nuke that shit. Get it out of here. So yeah, I, I, I get it for sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely find Sir Pugger's plug because... That, I think he's he's your man. I like that idea. No, uh, seriously. Or you and you and Sir Pugger could work idea. together. I mean, yeah. what kind of video would that be? I don't know, like find a bot farm and you glitch him <laughs> I, out of existence. I just, know, I just know he's treading some pretty, you know, pretty gray areas, but he still never gets in trouble. So, you know. Yeah, there, how there does that man be, find all the bots? We need to bring be, him on, man. Yeah, like, how are you he, he's finding got, these? We people? do need to get him on. That's yeah. that's a very good point, man. And then we can well, ask him who's your plug, you know? <clears throat> and then we'll really back to you. <laughs> It's a good idea. So, yeah. by the way, I, I think we've covered pretty much all of these subjects here. Uh, the only one that we haven't covered is Rendy's future plans. But I would like to think that his future plans from now would be to go forward and try to have a conversation with Jagex. And, um, you know, we really hope that you managed to sort something out, Rendy. And if you did in the future want to come back onto the, onto the show, onto the podcast and talk about it or whatever happens mate we'd love to have you again it's been an absolute pleasure thank you for coming on man seriously yeah. is there anything been, else been a nice experience you you um, that i would like to say yeah anything um i really don't know uh <laughs> yeah I, I mean like i said i just find joy in doing niche weird things in in runescape and future plans wise yeah Talk to Jagex. Um, I sent that DM to Sween just now. Um, I've been playing a lot of Valheim. Um, I've been trying to do some some weird things on there. Like oh, actually, no. <laughs> I've been trying to find glitches on Valheim and T-Bows doing some sort of uh, speed runs or like no armor modes or like permadeath modes. Uh, I've been doing some stuff with that. Um, I really want to get back into, you know, maybe the IRL stuff eventually. Um, I was planning to do that, though, not until the series was finished. But, you know, I don't know what's happening with that. So, um, yeah, that's probably it for future plans. Um, and hey, if you ever need a cameraman, uh, <laughs> IRL stuff, dude, I'll fly over. I got you. Really? <laughs> yeah. Special I gotta get my I gotta get my camera fixed. That's another issue. Oh, yeah. uh, thing things totally broken. So I'm gonna have to like somehow dish out money for a new camera when I do that. So yeah, um, fixing is probably more expensive. Unfortunately, I don't have any of that uh, duped GP money. So <laughs> you yeah. won't be buying forty dollars. 
Chinese cameras if you had the dooping. See Jagex. Money. See Jagex. Look at look at what you made him do. <laughs> this man yeah. got no extra cash from the dupes because he never did. Hey. It. <laughs> he never did it. <laughs> he got Yo, Rexy, Chinese could you say uh... for my uncle? You know. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Rexy, could you say priest in peril one more time? By the way. <laughs> Oh, how do I say it? How do you say it? I don't I say priest in peril. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Pri you. Priest in peril. I usually it say priest in peril though. <laughs> I did. I, man, I'm dyslexic as fuck, man. Okay, has, get off has my case, dude. Nothing to do with dyslexia. I, I'm sorry to say, Randy. I know you're the guest, but ever since he said priest in peril, my mind was just on that the whole time. Just always thinking about that. That was like two hours ago. Yo, yo. Yo, uh, who, who's, that, who's that porn star you really like? Mia Makalaka? Mia oh, Makalaka? Dude. What kind of Googling oh. you doing, bro? No, no. Like, so this this um, one time on stream, right? What? This one time on his stream, right? Um, somebody gifted a sub to, to Mia Makova, the porn star, right? And it oh. popped up his, his, her name. And then Rixie was like, oh, Oh, thanks for the gift of sub to Mia Makalaka. <laughs> it's really, it's really sad because, like, whenever I get features in a Behemoth video, because I've spoken to Behemoth and I've said, "Hey, can you not add clips in of me getting good drops?" Because it's from my YouTube. Every clip that I'm in is just me talking really fucking weird, and it's me pronouncing something messed up. So, like, when I go down in the old school RuneScape legacy book, I'm just gonna be known for being that weird guy that couldn't pronounce shit. Like that's <laughs> that's me, that's me, man. I enjoy the way names. you pronounce things though. I enjoy it more than the actual It, it makes you stand out, you know? It makes you stand out because everybody else be saying words correct most of the time, you know? Honestly, yeah, when that RuneScape, yeah. when that RuneScape book comes out, you could do like a um, a voiceover and sell the audio tape, and I would buy it. I just want to, I want to hear oh, all these words. Uh, You're giving me ideas. Somebody clips me the other day. They asked me what the hard mode, uh, hard mode nightmare boss was called, and I still to this day have no idea. I'm just it. like fucking. Give us a, give uh, us a. Yeah, you know, I forgot what was it. What was it called? It, it's something like Phasnosia. <laughs> I, I don't know what the fuck it, dude. One second, I think it's there's a clip sign. on my Twitch. There's <laughs> nosy, dude. Man. Yeah, somebody clipped it. It's got 150 fucking views. Wait, one That's second. Nosy. I'm gonna listen to it. I'll tell you how I said it. Sounds like a bad rapper name. <laughs> yeah, I, I say Fasnosia. <laughs> I haven't heard anyone say it, so, so I'm just sorry? like I'm guessing it's a phasnosia. Like I'm, I'm basically <laughs> okay. a fucking caveman. No, no, cave that, man, that is your dyslexia coming in because it's not <laughs> faz and then a nosy. It's fosani, you know. Oh, it's fosani. <laughs> You're the first person I've heard say it. Yeah, fosani. Yeah, your fault, dude. It can't be fasnazi because then the s and the n are together. Dude, it's when not your fault, man. Not the, it's it's yeah. not. It's so, not my fault. No, no. Okay. because it's someone at Jagex shit. keeps doing this weird name and shit. Right? <laughs> Stop naming things no one can pronounce. It's Just not your it fault, Bob. The nightmare. Just call it the Dark Boy or <laughs> something. Who gives a shit? Content. I've never touched like even raids one or raids two. Fun fact. Yeah, me Dang. too. Man. I mean, I'm any, sure you... any content like past 2015, I like hardly even touch. No, never, we like, found our four for theater of blood. There we go. I don't know how to do it. He don't know how to do it. Dude, he's just going to find some glitches and then it'll like skip it. Or something. Good, because I'm not going to be able to complete it normally. So fuck it. I just. Yeah. <laughs> that wouldn't be a problem for you if you already did infernos and shit, to be fair. You already yeah, can sense the ticks. I don't know. You know, you sense the ticks, you know. I, I feel we, like we I haven't done inferno in so long, too, that I, if I ever got back into that, I would just be like a totally yeah. You gotta practice Careful at Buffalo like Wild Wings a couple get, times. Yeah, just get heated <laughs> yeah, up real exactly. quick, you know. <laughs> that video got taken down, by the way. Really? Why? What? Inferno. Copyright music. They oh just took God. the whole video down. Wow. It's down. Dude, Randy, I, have yeah, you yeah. have you seen those videos where that guy plays Halo and he tries to beat the game while it's like melting in his oven? <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of them. Yeah, I haven't seen them. Maybe though. you can do a video like that with Inferno where it's just like it gets so hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's playing as a monitor in there. Oh, oh no, dude. Yeah, just, speaking just, of music, uh, though. Yeah, go on. Go on. Mm -hmm. Music? I don't know, because like, got, it got taken down by music. Like, the music copyright. Ah. That, that stuff's scary. Mm -mm. I, yeah, dude, I don't know. My, my Lock in the Cage video stuff. got taken down, too. Music? For music. Oh, my yeah. God. Damn. So dumb. So dumb. <laughs> no, because they'll, they'll say, like, yo, the music's clean. And then 
like half a year later it's like oh you've been detected for i'm yep. like what the f-? I'm like, yeah. i have like videos like once once every two months they'll be like um your video from two years ago uh just got a you know music stri-. i'm like what like right. how? yeah you, you know why that is because so the companies where it's like copyright free music sometimes they get bought out Oh, and like not, they can know. just put a claim in and be like, "Nah, that was their policy. This is ours." I know, so like bullshit, that, that happens, yeah. man. I I don't even use music in my videos. The I only just music use I trust music. is RuneScape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. RuneScape that's music. that's the safest bet, right? So, boys, I think we have covered everything. I think it's True. time we wrap this up. Remember, chat or comment section, whatever you call YouTube. Justice for Rendy. How many likes did we save for me to cut my hair? Was it a thousand? Uh, yes, it was a thousand. One thousand. Okay. A thousand and I will likes. Send boys. it. I will send you the I'll, best I'll comment. The next podcast. And boys, should we give a uh, a little teaser for who's going to be coming on to the next, or should I say who's are going to be coming on to the next oh, podcast? Damn. Rice Cup. Yo. Who are we having, man? Yo, it has to do with some clients and clientels, you know? That's all I want to say. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. Rendy, mate. It's been a pleasure. I really hope you managed to figure this out. Uh, yeah, dude, we'll be for I you. would... Listen... Message me on Twitter if you need me or anything, and I'll do my utmost to Podcast try and help you. But wow. firstly, you better fucking follow me on Twitter, bro, because I just <laughs> checked, and you ain't following me, man. I'm quite upset about that. Wooks follows me on Twitter, but Rendy doesn't. I see how it All is. Right, should we wrap right up then? All right, yeah, yeah. I'm going to end Yo. it now, boys. Mm-hmm. Thank you.